I write mostly sonnets, so I'm going to read you three sonnets. I know that sounds boring, but listen to them and then judge. The first one is called Flat World Economy. Bill Gates believes rich people should devote themselves to ending hunger and disease. Is maybe because he sees a revolt coming and thinks it's for the best if he's regarded as a sympathetic man. Anyway, he seems at least as jet set as before he noticed drought in Sudan, which sends a message the dumbest should get. Yet there are Koch brothers, too miserly to pay a proper poet to cover their shameful hoard. They scowl naked and free, and they probably own the governor. But if we don't know what they contribute, Bill Gates suggests they're the first ones to shoot. <laughs> The next one is called Agape. Agape, for those of you who didn't grow up going to church like I did, means God's perfect love. Uh, okay, I'm just going to read it. No, the world is cruel proof we are loved by an imperfect but well-intended someone who sees our small, who sees our small spark suspended over empty dark breathed into time of repurposed ash and clay, soon reverting to form. Shape does not retain once we're gone. This is love that lets you pass your light on, though you flicker out. All of this hurting unkindness of blood, all of this predation, this is the best what made you live could do, borrowing your time from the void where you are due. It is a bloody salvation because you were never thought into being, but pressed from fr flesh, elated, and bleeding. Wow. And last is called Caffeine and the Queen of Man. This is a joke between me and two baristas who agreed to make a band. I don't know if that will ever happen, but in the meantime, I wrote this sonnet. I can't, no I can't, no I can't, I can't help myself. Can't keep my hands to myself. Can't keep my mind in my pants, way we dance with ourselves. You're smoking bad for my health. Breathe you in, be your sin. Down in your hell, yes of yourself. Pleasure yells of your yes. In the meaningless night, delight ourselves. No, we're right, slip you out of your dress. I confess bold appetites and you bless by your wet willingness as I'm spent out that I might be my guest. Our fingers press excited prayer of flesh that knows no doubt somewhere we end and begin. All about us ripples alive by small death seeds sprout.